Hello everybody, so this is week 10 of the Monstera cutting updates and we're doing pretty well. The bleach wash last week didn't make any of the plants perish, which is pretty good. They're doing much better, so this vase is significantly more appropriate for the cuttings than the pot was, or the cup was. So they're still doing really well. We've still got a little bit of discoloration on the leaves and I intend to plant them up somewhat soon just because these small ones are going to be a gift for my sister so they'll be done sooner than these big ones and the big ones there is still no sign of infection which is good so hopefully the bleach wash has worked um, as you can see there are three leaves that are completely yellow and they're not going to be doing much good for the plant so what we're going to do this week is remove them so it is very very simple and straightforward to remove the perished leaves all you need to do is literally just carefully peel them off of the main stem so because these are all a bit tangled you've got to be a little bit careful but it should be all right so literally all you have to do is kind of like give it a little bit of tension to it and it should just come straight off and then we're going to return it to the water and do the same for this one so that's already looking a lot better and we're going to do the same for this final one So here is what the leaf looks like, close up. Uh, yeah, so a lot of browning and yellowing in the middle. So it's a shame, but it is part of owning plants. And then we can see more of the roots. So they're still going really, really strong. We've got a lot of spidering on this one. So this one should be ready to be potted up soon. And this is the new shoot that is growing here. So I'm not sure what it will grow into, potentially a leaf, which I assume it will be, but it could be a stem, I'm not sure. We'll see in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to put that back and then on for the pot update. So this is the pot. As you can see, there are still a lot of new shoots growing. This one is coming along very, very nicely. I think it is going to be a, I think it is a new leaf. And then there are many, many others that are still growing in there. So this is becoming, going to become very much a bush once it starts to take off and the shooting, the shoots become more prominent and grow into whatever they're becoming. So this one here, you can see that little drop of liquid. I'm not sure if it's water or sap, but it seems to be coming out of the shoot itself. As you can see, there's a little bit beaded on the top. Um, either way, it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't add any water to any of the leaves, the water goes straight into the soil or compost um, when it needs watering, which happens every couple of days, every five or so days when it is completely dry. So yeah, it's still doing really well and there's our new leaf and then there's the one that we had left on originally. So yeah, hopefully we'll have more to see in the coming weeks. But do remember that it is winter and whilst these are indoor plants it is still pretty cold and they are on a windowsill so they do get a bit of chill from the outside but they're still doing really well and it's not too cold for them so there's nothing to worry about but yeah hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll see more growth and it'll become more of a bush so see you next week for week 11.